Welcome to the Ministry of Peace Construction video, where everything is just peachy keen. Here in Sultan, we've got a beautiful Lego building coming up for you that houses some of the most important people in our society. Even though all citizens are equal, some are more equal than others. And yes, I do have a cold. Now, what is the Ministry of Peace? The Ministry of Peace concerns itself with war. War is peace. Here's the vacant lot that the state have provided for the ministry. Let's start with the bottom floor, that will be the garage for the tank. I'm using one of the new road plates as a base. I'm keeping two other sides open so it's easier to film and also to save bricks. The wall is just temporary. When I build a neighboring building, the wall will come down just as how the wall came down for the fire station. The front has the garage doors that are inspired by the design from the Ghostbusters headquarters. The doors can be closed because they are doors. A nice arch frames that in. Turn it around and place a supporting pillar. As I said, I want it to be a bit open. Ah, oh, here we have the Ministry's latest addition to their military arsenal, the mini tank. Look at it, isn't it cute? I'm sure it's just for show and definitely not for any sort of intimidation tactics. Oh, oh. Hi there, little guy. Didn't expect you to be awake. Turrets turn around. That's a play feature. Upstairs we will have the ministry's local office. A peaceful looking facade in bright orange. The color of peace and war. State of the art retro surveillance systems. Comfortable chairs to sit on and surveil people. A closet to hide your secrets in. And a lovely plant. Here we have the main officer's desk. And I just love these old vintage Lego computers. And it's nice to mix them up with newer ones. And of course the very important coffee mugs. Adding minifigs to a scene like this really adds a lot of life to your mugs. So I highly recommend it. And the wall has some more cool monitors. These three fine folks are responsible for maintaining peace in Sultan. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, hello there. Can you tell us a little bit about your job here at the Ministry of Peace? Of course. I'm responsible for keeping an eye on the citizens of Soul Town, making sure they're not causing any trouble. And how do you do that? Well, I have this handy dandy binoculars that I use to spy on people. Oh, that's uh, definitely not creepy at all. And what about you? What's your job here? I'm in charge of the mini tank, making sure it's always in tip top shape and ready for action. Wait a minute, is that a flower on the mini tank's turret? Hey, it adds a touch of personality, okay? And finally, we have this fine citizen. What's your job here? I monitor all communication coming in and out of Soul Town. We can have any funny ideas spreading now, can we? Is that a banana you're talking into? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a prototype communication device. Yeah, that's it. Let's add a lamp to uh, brighten our way. More supports. And a file cabinet with a lot of files. Maybe you're a file. And with this little unit you can hang people. I mean coats. I'm going with more of an American style for this roof. And you know me, I'm a great fan of fans. So here's some ventilation. We really need that grumpy cat. Grumpy cat, why are you so grumpy? I'm thinking about democracy and that kind of nonsense. Chinese spy parrot. And let's pop the ministry in its peace, please. And there you have it folks. The ministry of peace where everything is just dandy. No need to worry about anything happening behind closed doors. Everything is under control. With that said, stay out of the nonsense, stay awesome and watch out for the peace.